everyone, Bridget here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to create complex characters. I am feeling rather cozy, it's rather cold here, and yeah, I decided to make myself some fancy hot chocolate. So, yeah. I wanted to do this video to kind of dive into building characters and a part that's really fascinated me for a while and that is creating characters that are multi-dimensional and yeah, I'm just really excited to share these tips with you guys. The first tip I actually learned when I was taking a comic book class when I was in high school and that is to know your characters like your best friend. One of the tricks for this is to answer trivia about your characters, no matter how small, you should know your characters inside and out. Even if it doesn't come up in the story, it will help you to create more well-rounded characters and make them more believable people. You don't want your characters to come to life when the story begins. You want to give the feeling that they have already been existing before the story has begun and before your audience has been introduced to them. Things like their favorite color, their favorite food, Anything that you would know about someone that you're really close to, you should know about your characters. Even the smaller characters, just to give them a more well-rounded personality and a form of backstory. My next tip is to look at the relationships that your characters have with each other. How does one character act with one person versus another? And what kind of persona or what kind of different interactions do they have with people? Every character should have a different kind of interaction with each person because people don't act the same way and having that kind of distinction is very important, especially when it comes to building relationships within your characters or between your characters. Both of these tips are especially helpful when it comes to differentiating siblings or people who are very similar in the way that they grew up and really looking into the relationships that, for example, your characters, if they're siblings, that they have with their parents, what they, how they act around their parents or family. And generally, siblings are different, they just, tend to have different outlooks on things that have happened, they have different attitudes. I think it would be especially interesting writing twins and trying to differentiate the two to make it more obvious that they are different people because you can't do that with appearance as much. My last tip is about backstory. Now, one of the most important things is to dive into your character's backstory, to look at their childhood, anything that happened before your story began, and really, even if it doesn't come into play in the overall story arc, it is important for you to know, even if your audience doesn't, because that will help you figure out what the reasoning is behind their actions and really who they are as people because our childhoods and our adolescence and anything that we experience molds who we are and it's very important to know about that when you're going into creating a character. All of these tips can really be made into a kind of character profile or some kind of cheat sheet for yourself, I guess, to refer back to when you're writing. It's important to keep these things in mind while you're writing scenes about characters and to keep them really consistent and grounded in who they are. You can definitely lose your audience when your characters don't seem like the same people in a given scene or there just isn't consistency with their overall personality in a certain storyline. I am going to be doing a video very soon about keeping your characters consistent, so please subscribe to see that in the next little while. I'm really excited to share that with you guys, and I'm excited to dive into some more storytelling content. 
I hope you guys are enjoying these kinds of videos. Leave a like if you are. Leave a comment as to if you have any questions that you'd like me to address. And yeah, I will catch you guys on Friday with another video. Bye. I don't wanna be what I'm not. It's wasted energy. Nothing left.